Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to day number four of the advert of cyber 2023. And today we're going to be talking about a tool called, I think it's pronounced cool, like it's cool outside or I'm pretty cool. And it's a password generator, a word list generator that we can utilize to make passwords, make usernames and all that fun stuff. So let's get into the video and have some fun. All right, folks. So here we are on the desktop and we are on day four. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my walkthrough yesterday. I'm going to be honest, I was really nervous, but uh, we got through it and today's day number four. So task number 10, and this is another brute forcing task. So we'll learn some more fun stuff. So baby, it's cool outside. All right. So here goes a little story. So what we're going to be doing, the learning objectives here are what is cool? What are the capabilities of cool? how we can leverage this to generate our own custom word list for a website and how we can customize the tool's output for specific tasks. So this tool is pretty much what we can do is create word list just like other word lists out there. Uh, there's a lot of word list creators and you can just come out to Google and just uh, put word list generator tools and there's quite a few right there's let's see just to for you guys to understand there's different ways to do this same task and as you can see crunch and so on and so forth and that's what we learned about yesterday but anyhow today we're going to learn about cool oh right here should have read this before i literally like all morning, I'm not sure if it was only me, but TriHack Me was having some problems accessing their site. And during my lunch time, I, what I did is go and connecting to VPN on a United Kingdom VPN. And here we are, it worked. So maybe some stuff in North America, it's not working on some servers. So just a heads up. All right, so, so what this is, is a custom word list generator and a tool that you know, spiders websites to create word lists based on a site's content, right? I'm gonna be 100% transparent. I have never used this tool. This is new for me as well, all right? So I like to be transparent in my videos because I don't know it all and I'm always learning something new, all right? So I did boot it up, as you can see here, my IP address. All right, cool deal. So let's keep going and connect to the machine. We all did that. You can also do this on your own machine. You don't have to use the attack box. I tend to use the attack box in uh, Try Hack Me due to some people are still learning. So maybe some people don't know how to use the open VPN file or just they don't have a, a, uh, a VM or a machine to do this. So it's best to you know, do it the way that Try Hack Me recommends and so everyone can follow along, all right? So we can de uh, we did deploy the target VM attached. So we hit the start start machine button. So we have it here. So what we can do is just type in cool dash h for help, All right? So it says Robert Wood, I guess is the creator of this. All right. So we have different options. We have all the different options here. Once you hit enter here. And we can see and we can read through this. Okay. So I'm just going to type clear to clear that out and continue down here. So let's keep going. Let's see what we have to do. And if you are running this on your own VM, you can go ahead and use sudo app get install cool dash y to ignore the yes command when it comes up or the option or whatever you want to call that. All right. So as we come down here, we can use cool space http colon slash slash your ip address this is my ip address i hope i can do this okay perfect as we can see we can see everything that resides on this site uh, let's see it's a lot all right so to generate a basic word list from the website using the basic command right so we use this basic command now to save the word list generated to a file we can use the same command and as you can see up here, we can see the, I guess, before we do that, I like to, let me hit clear here. And I wanna show something one more time. So the dash W, if you don't know what it is, 
we can go ahead and go back to help and we can see that right here, it goes ahead and writes out this to an output file, right? So just to, for a heads up, right? So let's go ahead and clear that. Let's go ahead and hit the up arrow dash W and then we're gonna put output.txt, okay? And we'll let that do its thing. We can do an LS now. We should have this output.txt here. Perfect. We're golden so far. So why are we gonna use curl? Cool. All right, cool is a wordless generator that unique compared to other tools available. While many tools rely on predefined lists or common dictionary attacks, cool creates custom wordless based on the web page content. That's pretty critical right here, I'm assuming. Here's why it stands out. Target specific word list, depth of search, you know, customizable outputs, built-in features, efficiency, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So we can come down here and how do we customize, right? How to customize the output file to, to a specific task, right? We can do a dash D, right? Which option to allow to deep call, oh my God, cool should spider. Right, for an example, the HTTP dash D space two and dash W word lit or oh, output one dot TXT. And you can see the maximum minimum length. We can see all this in the dash help as well. So and then to generate between five and 10 characters, we can see the minimum is gonna be five and the maximum is gonna be 10 because it's saying that right here. Right, so how to handle authentication, we can do that with a flag dash A, right? So let's go ahead and keep moving down the list here. Number four, customize extensions with a dash dash with dash numbers. Off-site option allows you to do so. Cool, so I'm guessing this is more for an Obviously we Actually, it's not gonna work. Did it. and delete all this fancy, fancy stuff and hit enter, okay? All right, perfect. Let me see if I can, uh, let's see if I can, okay, cool. I think that should be good. All right, so we have a logon page, username and password, but we don't have any username and passwords yet because it hasn't give us that direction. All right, so we have to first create a word, a password list using cool, cool, baby. All right, so let's go ahead and come back to the terminal. And we're just gonna go ahead, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We're gonna go ahead and copy this and then paste it in here, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do an LS now. We should have a passwords uh, list right here. So if we cat passwords, we can see a whole bunch of passwords that it created, all right? So your goal for the first task to validate the, okay. Here we go. This is what we're going to do. So we catted that out. We can see a whole bunch of uh, fun words here. Let's go ahead and do a control L to get back to the top. And now we have to create a username because without a username, you don't have a password. Without a password, you don't have a username. All right. So let's go ahead and run this command here. Copy this. And we're going to go ahead and throw this in the terminal. And obviously, we just went through all of these commands up top, so we don't need to go over that again. So now we can cat usernames, and we can see all the usernames that are associated that we created, okay? So now, step number three is brute force with the with, uh, wfuzz, right? So this is another tool that we can utilize, so let's do clear or control L, and let's keep moving down this. All right, so we're gonna use wfuzz dash, all right, so before we do it, let's just do wfuzz, space dash s help because we don't know what we're doing and we can see a whole bunch of 
options here. Obviously, we can go through this, and I recommend doing this so you can learn the different commands, right? So dash C is the output file with colors. Dash Z, as in zebra, let's come down and see what that's about. That's in scan mode, right? So it's going to scan a file, right? And this file is going to be usernames.txt and the password, right? Lowercase Z. Where's lowercase Z? Did it show it in here? Right here which is the payloads, right? So, and then dash dash HS, and you guys get the gist, right? You can just look at the options and learn from what you're doing. All right, so let's clear this, and let's go ahead and give it a jingle. All right, so let's go ahead and copy this and paste. And pray that we get something, and once we get the, prop, uh, the correct username and password, which is going to be under the payload option, we should authenticate with that uh, username and password and see if we can get into the actual page. But while that's doing its thing, let's go ahead and look at the commands above. Okay, perfect. I should have just read this. All right, so the Z is for the file username, loads the username. Z is for the password, dash S, uh, HS, it's not high school, I'm just kidding. Please enter the correct credentials. Hides a response containing the, the string. Please uh, enter the correct credentials. Okay, dash U, obviously we need a URL to utilize. And as dash D, username dash, e oh, excuse me, equals fuzz and password equals fuzz2, uh, fizz2z, I don't know. And so by the passwords, okay, cool deal. So now it did have a username and password. So let's give that a jingle. Let's copy this and let's go up to where is my, uh, and let's go ahead and use that for the password. I mean the username, I apologize. And let's go back and let's go see if this happiness, so I'm super happy. I'm so grateful to be a part of this fun challenge. And let's paste that here. Enter, I don't need to save it. All right, so it looks like webmail. All right, so we got some, let's see. While we go down, obviously conclusion. All right, oh, so let's go ahead. We have to answer these questions. So what is the correct username, password, and combination format, username, colon, password? All right, so let's go ahead and just come back here and let's type that in. I right. And then colon and happiness. Okay, cool. So now we have to find the flag. So let's go back to our login. All right, so we have a few emails here. Let's go ahead and delayed shipment. Hi, South Pole team. We've noticed a delay, blah, blah, blah. Credentials. Oh, I'm mean confidential credentials. Confidential message. All right, so here's the flag. Sweet. I think we are golden. Let's go ahead and copy this. Paste it here. Submit. All right. If you enjoyed this task, check out the web enumeration. You can check that out. And voila, day number four is done. And let's go ahead and look for, I mean, look at this third email, Dear South Pole. Cool. So we completed day four. Thank you so much for checking us out. If you guys are enjoying this every single day, the new challenges, hit a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and leave a comment in the, in the description or whatever it is down there. Just leave a comment what your thoughts are on my walkthrough and let's keep going and learn something tomorrow at day five. Take care.